Civil War era. This is the kind of stuff uh, GPS hasn't been invented yet, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it's still even even today, a good captain will have equipment like this aboard because electronics can fail. This does. This works all the time. And, uh, of course, the sextant is one of the basic uh, basic tools. Um, How does that work? The angle that you read on here, uh, can you see the lens, the, the glass here? Uh -huh. There's a, a mirror on half and a clear part. Yeah. The telescope looks through this uh, split glass and the clear part is looking at the horizon and the telescope looking through here the, is reflected through this one which moves when you move the arm back and forth. So if you're looking at the sun, as the sun climbs in the sky to noon, when it stops climbing, that's 12 o'clock noon. Now, if you go over here, you have a chronograph that is very accurate clock, and that's set to Greenwich time, England. The Earth moves 15 degrees per hour, so if this says 2 o'clock, and you're looking at noon where you are, you are 30 degrees west of Greenwich. If you're 1 o'clock in Greenwich and noon where you are, you're 15 degrees west of Greenwich. So it's not rocket science, it's just understanding how the Earth moves and being able to figure it out with this instrument. Now twice during the year, at the two equinox, the angle that you read at 12 o'clock noon on this uh, vernier here is your exact latitude on the earth. After that, it's higher in the summer and lower in the winter, so you have to have a table of offsets which corrects for the day. So you go in here and you find the day, and that'll give you the correction for this, for this, uh, that'll change your, make your latitude accurate. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and that's been around. When was it? I'm serious. When was it? Oh, when was it? Well, in the, they had, I know the square riggers sailing in the, uh, in the 1600s used this system. They sailed only by latitude, though, because they didn't have clocks that were accurate. So if you were, let's say you were in New York City, this being the East Coast, this is New York City, the North Magnetic Pole is up here in Hudson Bay. So you're going to sail to England over here. As, you're, as you leave New York, north is above you, so you're sailing east. Look what happens as your boat sails across the ocean. You get over here, where is north? It's what was west. So every every day, in fact, every helmsman shift, you have to readjust your not the compass. You readjust your course. So if you're if you've sailed two degrees off, then the master of the ship and the navigator will say, you know, let's move to two degrees to start from where you were. And that's done on a on a board. You have a board with a compass on it, and, the, and there's holes radiating from the center for each degree, or each five degrees. And so the helmsman will steer for a half hour, and he has a half hour glass. He turns the glass. When a half hour is up, he rings the bell once. He takes a pin, and he, if he's going north, he will count, and he's going five knots, he will count one, two, three, four, five, and put the pin in. The next half hour, uh, he turns the glass, he rings the bell twice. He, if he's two degrees off, he counts over here, and it's, let's say he's going six knots. One, two, three, four, five, six, he puts a pin in. At the end of four hour shift, he rings the bell eight bells, still, that's our eight bells. He goes off duty, the new helmsman comes on, on in position. He takes his board to the navigator. The navigator knows what direction the guy sailed with for four hours. He knows how fast he went for each of the half hours. And he transfers that information to the chart. Yeah.
<laughs> well, the, you know, the navigator was a good mathematician. The, the helmsman only had to steer the boat. <laughs> no, matter of fact, most most ships of that period uh, did not have windows in the steerage area, so he couldn't even see where he was going. He had a compass, and he followed the compass. Of course, it didn't make any difference. No, no, no. The, the navigator would tell him what compass course he followed, and he simply steered the steered to that course. <laughs> yeah, it's a, like I say, it's not rocket science, but it's it's uh, understanding how the earth the, the earth moves and how the, the sun moves. Now, I always, when I'm teaching, I always take sun shots first because that's the easiest. When you're shooting a star or a moon, uh, oh, yeah. it's a little more difficult. So you have, you have, you teach, you, know, you have classes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, didn't let I, I have a master's license. Yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> I have unlimited, unlimited passenger license. It did. Yeah. Shooting the moon work the same. Yeah. Quite the same principle as yeah. the same as principle. The you were yeah. Yeah. Now this, this so you is, could do it at night. This is a chip as long as it was clear. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> so you they could got go, cloudy you, for a while. You, you were go for two. Out of luck. Three, you could go for two or three days, <laughs> not be able to get an accurate shot. So you're yeah. going to be out of position. But that's okay. You correct now because you know where you're at. You make a correction for that. This is a chip log, and um, you have a 30-second sand glass. You turn it over. It runs for 30 seconds, and this is dropped overboard at the same time. So it's pulled, and as the ship moves away from it, the friction of the water will hold this in pretty much in position. And how much line comes off of the reel tells you how fast you're going. Now, this one is not calibrated uh, because it has a new line on it, but you can open it up and you stick a piece of cloth through there and you close it. And uh, so it's calibrated in knots, how many knots go through your hand in a given length of time which tells you your speed. And would they measure that every 30 minutes as well? Um, or every yeah, shift, every yeah, four hour. Yeah, usually every couple hours. Four hour shift, not uncommon. Now you've got to pull this back to the boat. It's 200 yards behind you, and you're pulling it against the pull of the water. So somebody came up with this really unique device. If you catch a wave when you have the most pressure on it, and you give the line a jerk, it pulls a pin and it comes back horizontal. <laughs> A lot of common sense. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Isn't People that amazing? Had it. They had it more back then, more common sense. Somebody had to figure it out. Yeah.